Welcome members of the CIA, that's not the Central Intelligence Agency, but the Crazy Italian Army. Welcome, this is your fearless leader of the Crazy Italian, and we're doing a Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Let's Play. This will be part 33, I believe, and we're going to call it Sempu Temple Merchant. And we're at the Shikundu um, Sculptor's Idol, and as you can see, I've been farming for gold and skill points. Um, I... I have 8,818 sen or gold because we're going to, come, going to be coming to a merchant right now and I want to be able to buy all of his inventory. Um, I uh, had three skill points which I used but I'm not going to go into which one I bought. It was just a simple one. I'm going to be trying to increase my number of spirit emblems. There we go, so we're out here. Now I'm gonna to try to grab this without ledge hanging. There we go. Got a ceramic shard. We're gonna come on around here. And here's our memorial mob merchant. Let's talk to him. Care to purchase an offering? Another one. Where you find the departed? You'll find the memorial mob. There'll be none to mourn you, should you forget the Buddha. Go ahead, buy an offering. Okay, so he's got some persimmons, which we're gonna be giving to the divine child in the future. Reco or you, you can use them to recover posture while even when you're attacking or taking damage, as it says, but you're gonna need, um, I guess, a couple of these to give to the divine child that we'll meet. Um, so you don't want, I'm going to buy these and um, we're not going to use them. Okay, the dragon's blood droplet, we're going to buy that, which allows us to um, heal the dragon rot. Echo sugar, we're going to buy those. Ungo sugar, let's see, the echo sugar boosts attack power, the ungo sugar. Reduces vitality damage, take it from physical attacks. We're going to buy that. The five colored rice, we're not going to buy, and I guess it's pretty useless. It's like a prism stone in Dark Souls. You just drop it on the ground and it um, leads, leaves a, um, like something lit up that you can see so you know where you've been in the past. So we're going to buy the two bulging coin purses because you don't lose these um, when you die so they, they safeguard your money we're going to buy the three he, three heavy coin purses we're going to buy the two light coin purses we're going to buy the uh, scrap magnetite which is used for upgrading our prosthetic tool and we've still got 3,208. <laughs> I uh, farmed a little extra, be more than gold than I needed because I was trying to get my third skill point. So that's what I did. Um, let's, I don't think I'm going to buy the five colored rice. I don't think it's necessary. So, um, where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mob wherever your travels take you. Make sure you bring some offerings with you. Okay, so um, I'm going to uh, Homeward Idol back to the last communed idol. Then we're going to go buy some upgrade materials from the merchant. I guess he's in Ashina. Let's see if we can find him. And um, we'll buy, let's go over here and then we'll, so we'll uh, travel to Sheena Askerts. I think this is where I want to go, the stairway. There's a merchant there. And he has some, I believe, scrap iron and um, gunpowder, maybe the black gunpowder, I think it is. Um, we'll buy some of those. Wooden shields and hats can't be broken by regular sword attacks. The Lotus at loaded axe prosthetic tool might do the trick, however. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to come down here. Uh, 
Greeting. Go on. Let's see. Scrap iron. Let's buy um ten scrap irons and black gunpowder. Let's buy eleven of those. That'll use up all of our pretty much all of our gold. Until next time, good sir. I'm counting on you to find someone to help with the battlefield. Someone big. So we're gonna have to bring someone for him, I guess. I'm gonna wait and see what happens. Just doing the. I was trying to see if I could jump up there without grabbing the ledge, but I couldn't. Okay, let's travel back to Sempo Temple, Mount Congo, Shigun, Shigendo, Sculptor's Idol. So, resting at the Sculptor's Idol. Okay. So, um, we, this way was to the. Um, merchant which we bought him out this way we're gonna go now and see if i can get another point i want to go to there i believe yeah okay this is where we want to go up here there we go we're gonna stealthily come in here Wait for those enemies to lose interest in us. So I wasn't sure where I wanted to go. Um, let's wait for them to lose interest. See those little yellow triangles show, show they were looking for us. Now the yellow triangles have disappeared. We're going to crouch here and sneak up on this guy. Where did he go? Well, he's... use a um, antidote powder to cure the poison. There we go. You're supposed to sneak up on this guy, but let's go back this way. Get him to lose interest. That didn't work out how I Naturally, how um, I, the walkthrough that I saw, the guy crept up on this dude, and um, just by going really slow. better now there's an item over here we actually got a death a stupid death out of this okay now we can drop down on this guy okay now we're going to um, go up here and grab on and just go to the left real easily here and do a stealthy death blow. Oh yeah, that was beautiful, yeah. Okay.
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to jump from here or go up. I think if we go on up, there's a boss maybe we fight, but we're not going to do that yet. Um, I didn't see a grapple hook over there. Let's... Let's see if there's a... If there's a grapple hook over here. I don't see a grapple hook. There's one way down there. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Well, that's the that's the jump I'm trying to make, but it's real hard. It's very difficult, so we'll try it again. There, I did it. Okay, good. Let's heal up. Can I heal while I'm on the... No, I can't heal up while I'm on here. Okay, let's um, drop down and catch. Real quick, catch the ledge. And drop down. Let's heal up. If you miss, if you die from falling, you're going to want to get the heavy coin points. So you're going to want to heal so that you don't um, get an extra death. A complete death. Okay. Now, from here, there's a grapple hook way up there. And we're going to try to catch that ledge over there. So. There, I got it. Okay. Good. Here, I did it. Okay. Pop a shirt. Get our shurikens ready. There were some lizards that fell down. Now, this is the white pinwheel that the um, large man that was kind of um, like a young child wanted for one of his um, quests. Um, we're not going to give him this. We're going to try to give him the red and white pinwheel to get that. To get that um, ending to, to his quest. Guess you could rope up here possibly it looks like. We're going to go in here and get the monkey booze, get the heavy coin purse. Now, there's a guy in this room here. He's a centipede. He's susceptible to um, death blows from above, so we're going to jump and then try to death blow him. I don't know why that works, but he's susceptible to those death blows from above. Got some black gunpowder. We're going to go over here first. Just to show you this hidden wall. You hug the wall. And we're not going to do this right now, but it, um, we might come this way in the future to um, fight the headless boss. So I'm just going to show you where the headless boss is real quick. See her down there? That's scary. <laughs> she she requires divine confettis to even do damage to her, I think. 
If it's a girl, I'm not sure if it's a girl or a boy. Let's see what does this say. Shinobi escape route leads to Demon Bell. Okay. Then, um, anyway, we will, like I said, we'll probably be coming back in the future. So we're going to come on up here. Um, we want to be able to do do the, since there's only limited, maybe I have two divine confettis right now. We're not going to fight the headless boss till later when we're stronger and have more divine confettis. Um, so this is the demon bell. Let's read what it says. Do not ring this bell. Inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only the stoutest of hearts should ever consider it. Okay, so let's go ahead and ring the bell. Anyway, it says sinister burden, I believe. It's in red, so it's hard for me to read because I'm red, green, color blind. Now we have the bell demon. A demonic spirit sealed within the iron bell of Sempu Temple possesses those who ring the bell, strengthening enemies around them. The bell demon confers hardship, but perhaps also slightly better spoils. Using this item has no particular effect aside from causing the demon to leave. Okay, so if you're gonna farm real hard for items, you could ring this bell and then do your farming and you'd get more items or better items or something. So um, if you wanna get rid of the um, hardship, go over here to the bell demon, and just use the bell demon item and the burden is dispelled and now we're back to normal. Okay, so let's get this idol. If I can commune with it, there we go. It's the Bell Demon's Temple, so we're gonna rest here. And um, that's gonna be the end of this video. In the next video, we'll tr maybe try fighting Lady Butterfly if I'm up for it. We have one more gore healing gourd than we did when I tried her before. I didn't show that on camera because I came really close to defeating her. She was almost completely dead. Her posture bar was almost filled up with the sec when I, with her second health health life or health bar um, I got the first health bar d destroyed the first death blow e pretty easily but the second one she kind of goes crazy and she starts summoning apparitions like illusionary um, enemies and you're supposed to use a snap seed to dispel them and I didn't, saw a guy do it without using the snap seed I didn't want to use up all my snap seeds because I only have six of them and I thought if I have to fight her like 20 times I won't have a snap seed that many snap seeds so anyway we'll try that in the next video please subscribe like comment and share this video with your fellow gamers friends family and followers Please click the like button. Only about half of you that are viewing the video are clicking the like button. And I click the like button on every single one of your videos that I watch. I'm a good, friendly guy, and I like to help out your channel and support it. So if you made it to the end here, I hope you'll click that like button. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support, YouTube. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.